six. Good morning, sunshine. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> so awesome. It's day six, and I have a finished object. Yeah. I have so many whips that it's not often that I have a finished object, so I'm just excited about it. Do you <laughs> find that you finish things in batches? Yeah. 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 Well, hopefully. <laughs> yeah. I was realizing that the other day I had like four things that came off the needles within a week yeah. and they were all stuff that sort of were at varying degrees of being done. And then it just all, they all just sort of coincided at the end. Yeah. So I have been having these socks have been on the needles for honestly, almost a year. And here's why um, it's not because they were, well, I mean, you could say they were kind of neglected, but really it's the socks that I just keep in my bag for when I'm in the car or for when I'm waiting somewhere. Yeah. So I call these the doctor's office socks because, you know, my mom in the last year, she's fine. Don't freak out. Nobody yeah. freak out. She's totally fine. But she's had some things come up that have required some like re more regular checkups and things and office visits. And so she's perfectly capable of taking herself to the doctor, but she likes it when I go with her because then I'm listening and helping her remember things or maybe even writing something right. down or, you know, it's just helpful to have somebody else there. It is a good practice with older family members, especially. Yeah. Yeah. Cause sometimes that we, second remember, set of years. Yeah. we remember things a little differently sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So they're like the doctor's office socks. So when I go there, you know, maybe I only get five rows done or, yeah. and if I'm the one driving, which I prefer to drive when we go somewhere, cause mm -hmm. I'm, like I'm not a good passenger, <laughs> but maybe I only get a couple of rows done while we're waiting in the waiting room before we get called back or whatever. So, oh, they kind of match my shawl. This is the Caledonia shawl that I did the mystery knit along with, with Amba O'Brien last year. Mm -hmm. And they kind of match. Oh, <laughs> I, they do. I didn't plan that. I did not plan that. I just Oh, read that's it. funny. But this is the uh, Regia, Regia. I don't know how to say that. I think people say it Regia. I and always want to say Regia, but again, like we've had, we've had discussions about this before. Pronunciation, right. This yeah. is the six ply. So it oh. is more, it's a DK. I kept thinking it was sport, but I actually went and looked it up and it's DK. Okay. And I was so excited because it's a hundred, it's a big, it's 150 gram skein. Little Knits last week had a sale. Little Knits is an online yarn seller and they're in Seattle, Washington. And this, sometimes they have fantastic sales. Like when they're clearing out stuff, no kidding, like 70% off. Wow. I know. So 150 grams and I was able to knit. I mean, that's a good size you know, leg. Yeah. And, then, and I have a woman size 12 foot. So hooray. And Yay. I have, I have 27 grams left. Oh, wow. That's awesome. So I'm happy because now I thought, well, I could use this. Well, I want to save a little for darning because that happens. Yeah. Um, usually I wear out right on the ball of my foot on the, underneath on the ball of my foot. Anyway, I'll save some for darning, but I could also I have enough probably to make one of those teeny weeny Christmas sweaters that we talked about, the little yes. teeny weeny ornament or a teeny weeny Christmas sock. Anyway, yeah. but I'm just excited that it's going to be like 12 degrees this weekend. And I'm happy I get to wear them in my boots. My boots are rated down to zero. Mm. My winter farm boots. So yay. Right. Oh, that's awesome. And the other reason I'm so excited about this, I did some math. All right. So here's the thing. Lauren's, you know, we talked about this, a girl in her world. We talked about this. She talked about that a couple of days ago on the rewards club and her monthly subscription. I am considering switching from the fingering monthly subscription that I currently right. get to the DK so I can keep mm -hmm. up and knit a pair a month because, you know, it's less yardage and it's thicker. And I live in Wyoming. It's cold. Why not? Right. And right. I live in a farmhouse that doesn't really have insulated floors. Yeah. But if I did this with 130, wait, what's 150 minus 27? So it'd be 123. Okay. She has 100 gram skeins with a 20 gram mini. So I'm okay. three grams over. But you know what? I can just cut out like five. Yeah, that's meters. a few rounds. I know. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, I'm excited because I'll have enough. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. But here's what I'm not sure of. With the 20 gram mini, will I have enough to do 
contrasting cuff, heel, and toe? Or will I have to pick two of the three things? Like, and just do heels yeah. and toes. Probably just heels and toes. And I'll probably just make shorties. Yeah. Because in the winter, you know, you put on your thermals or your longer sweatpants under your warm insulated coveralls to go do chores. So, right. I mean, I already have that warmth down my legs. have the, le- the layers, yeah. yeah. my leggings or my whatever, so. Right. Yeah. No, that's exciting. It is exciting. That's like great. So and you're going to have awesome, more awesome squishy socks that knit up faster. I know. I get so entertained <laughs> so easily. Last night, my mom was over at dinner. She's like, you're really excited about this. I'm like, I know. She's like. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Yeah. Awesome. So that's my win for the day. Yay. Awesome. Yeah. I don't have a win. <laughs> Your win is that you're wearing a fantastic sweater. So tell us about that since I already said I got I'm... this uh on my trip to Shetland this last summer slash fall. Uh I went to the Shetland designer studio. I had an interview with Wilma Malcolmson Love for an online event and then um yeah, it was she's fancy. She's wonderful. She she's is just a sweetheart lady. I know. I had the heart. fortune of inter- I had the good fortune to interview her and her granddaughter Terry. You got to meet with you got to have a chat with her and yes. You were at her yeah. studio visiting. In her studio and uh I had like so many people had told me about what the studio was like. I expected it to be much bigger than it was, but it's really like a sort of a small family home size. Mm-hmm. And one side is like the where the the magic happens, right? With all the knitting and the machines and the wool and everything. And the other side is a small shop and then like the office kind of thing. And the the shop though, small but mighty, I have to say. There were a few racks of sweaters that I could not take my eyes off. And I, I actually was sort of back and forth like three times while I was there. Mm-hmm. And on the last time I was like, all right, I don't know if I'm going to come back again. This is, I need one. She had to, she had to go into the house and I started like trying on sweaters. (laughs) (laughs) And by the time she was back, I had it between this one and another one with a different color scheme on the top. Yeah. Yeah. Ended up obviously getting this one. And then the Shetland Wool Week annual came out. And this is the pattern that she contributed to the Shetland Wool Week annual for this year. So if you are interested in knitting your own, you don't have to, I mean, you can order from the Shetland designer. They have a website and they take, you know, special requests. You can send your bus size, they'll knit you a sweater, or you can knit your own now. Knit the your Shetland own. Wool Week annual. Yep. Gotland, Gotland yoke sweater is what nice. it's called. Yeah. Do you know, do you know if the annual is still available to purchase? Yes. Okay. Yes, it is. They were saying that just the other day. They still have copies. Fantastic. And if if you are interested, if you go to the uh I thought I knew how Facebook group. Okay. There is a post there. My uh business partner for the tours that we're doing to Shetland, she actually ended up with an extra copy. So she's doing a giveaway right now. Oh, Jolene. Jolene. Yeah. So look for Jolene. I actually reposted it there for her, but you'll just okay. scroll the feed and you'll find it. She has a picture of the annual okay. there and, and it's really cool. like just comment and you are entered. Sweet. Yeah. And there's a, uh, the links are down below for where to find Anne all over social media. And I right. think your group is, I'll make I sure think so. the group link is there as well as your business page, but okay. people want to go to the group and look for your post about the giveaway. Yeah. Nice. So that's there. So you can get the patterns you need to fit this. Fantastic. Yeah. So what do you have for day six? I have yarn. Yay. <laughs> yarn. <laughs> oh, we're back to blue. Woo. Look at that. The blues and browns. Oh, and there's some yellow here too. So that'll pick up from the last like three days. There's been yellow. Yeah. And blue, oops, and blues and browns and greens. Oh, I like this. Okay. I like and this. And so I will say that we're pre recording because Anne has a commitment on Sunday. So she's right. not going to be able today to show you what she's knitted. So you'll have a twofer next time but, we record. You'll see but them. There they are. There together. they are together. The most, the two most recent. Yeah. I love blue and orange together. And I know like that's a color wheel thing. Like that's a standard blue and orange. But man, I, I just really love how it looks beautiful so i'm excited to knit those two up so knit faster <laughs> you'll have i want it. yeah i'm looking forward to the chicken report yeah that's see what we're gonna call can, it the uh... chicken report <laughs> 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 oh, 
Okay. Yes. All right. So okay. day six. Girl in her wool. Yep. Day six. Ooh. Oh, I love that. Oh my God. Oh, I love that. Oh, oh look at that. I would want a skein of that just by itself. Holy Is smokes. there pink in that? A little bit. Well, little maybe bit pink. Well, it's not. Well, I don't know. Sort of by the label. It looks like yeah. there is some pink. Maybe it's just the coloring. I don't know. The, the, the monitor. Oh, man. That is. That's really pretty. Thing. Okay. So next today, four and five. Ooh. Wow. Oh, I'm digging that. Yeah. I love that. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder if this will ever be a standalone by itself kind of a thing. Everybody write to Lauren and Lauren, say, what was day six? Day Make six. that <laughs> all the time. That's beautiful. Yeah. But if you want to write to Lauren, I think it's a girl in a role at gmail.com. Just saying. <laughs> Just saying. Just saying, folks. <laughs> day six. All right. British Yarn Explorers. I'm being very good about keeping it away from the microphone. I appreciate that. Because I love you. Thank you. Okay. Ooh, I know. Okay. This is going to be another hard one to say. <laughs> soy DK. Soy DK. Okay. Soy. Soy. S O A Y. Oh. DK. This is from Parva Brook Yarns. And I didn't notice. Okay. So it doesn't say it's hand spun this time. Okay. So this is on the RBST vulnerable list with five to 900 of the breed living in the UK. So I mean, Sheep Island in Norse, which, which suggests that there have been sheep on the island since at least the time of the Vikings. 100 soyes were transported to the island of Herta in 1932, two years after the last human inhabitants had left and had been maintained as a feral population ever since, numbering around 1,500 sheep nowadays. These hardy sheep live on soe in the St. Kilda archipelago. These beautiful sheep have dark brown and fawn markings and look very much like deer or gazelle. What? Use are pulled or have horns. Wool sheds naturally. The staple okay. length is five to 15 centimeters. This wool is softer on washing. Stitch definition is good, but hard to see because of the dark color. Uh, and then she says, I think you can find softer examples. Yeah, because this one, it is, it does have a little bit of tooth to it. Show it to us. Oh, sorry. Did I not? Sorry. <laughs> oh, there it is. So a nice chocolatey, like milk chocolatey brown. In but, and it looks like it has some Tweety variation in there. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little. There's like some some red to it, just slight, just slight yeah. redness to it. Yeah, we're going to have to go find a picture of that. Yeah. Gazellus-ish kind of sheep. I might have to Google real quick right now as we're doing this. It's interesting. Yeah, go ahead. And OA sheep. Oh, yeah. Oops, I typed. Oh. Send me the picture then so I don't have they to. They are very long. I think this is a baby, but yeah, it looks like a fuzzy deer. It's like very, <laughs> very fuzzy deer. Interesting. Huh. But a, as a grown up, it doesn't so much look like it, but the kids do. You mean lambs? The lambs. Yeah, sorry. I'm talking, I meant kids as in children. Oh, not goats. <laughs> wow. Awesome. Interesting. All these sheep that I know, you know, before I started all of this, I thought of sheep, like they're sheep. <laughs> and then you start learning about like, well, there's Merino and there's blue face Family. Lester and there's that. And, and then you're like, Oh, but then now there's like hundreds of these ones that just developed in their little corner of the world. In their little niche ecosystem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's fascinating. I cool. love it. I love learning about them. Nice. This is fun. I'm glad I did this one. Okay, Jana. Do you have an explorer or no? No, there's no explorer this time Not either. Today. Okay. Yep. So it's been two days now with that one. Okay. So this is day six from botanical yarn Ooh. okay and this is the last in the yes or 
Glacier National Park. Glacier, yeah. Okay. So sorry for the crinkle. Oh, that's just so interesting. Look. Oh. That's lovely. And I like that. I think that 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 threesome, yeah, that's gorgeous. Yeah. So this was the first one from Passion Knits yarn. And then this is the second one from Bella Filadio and then Botanical. Look at that. Lovely. Lovely. Those are beautiful yarns. That's fantastic. Nice. So these are 20 gram minis. So that's approximately 85, 90 yards ish. And so I'm thinking, so there's 200 and, you know, 40, 250 yards here. And I can't help but think, well, what could I make with just this color tree? Yeah. Because Doing like the, each park as a project. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'll figure that out. Interesting. Cool. It's lovely. <laughs> so, yay. Okay. It's, this is lots of fun. I like the sections of things. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's very cool. I uh, think I'm going to pick up that pack next year, that advent calendar, that the winter park one. Mm -hmm. I think it's a good way to get exposed to a lot of different hand dyers yeah, that yeah. you don't necessarily have yeah, a way to a, connect with several, either. Right. Anyway. And there's several that we've interviewed right. that I haven't heard of before because I think some of we've talked about this some of it's a little bit regional right. but now in the you know day and age of the internet it doesn't matter where people are but there's a exactly. lot of buyers you know in the east that I haven't that I've never heard of right so it's a yeah. good way to get exposed to more independent dyers yeah no I think it's a genius idea bye bye <laughs>